All right, guys, so almost every day I wake up and I read the news, especially the who's canceled today or who's apologized for saying something today uh, news. I just want to go back to the early 2010s after the recession, right? After the recession is done and just stay there, right? Just stay there forever, okay? Because at least that was still a time in which, you know, hey, <laughs> some jokes were still acceptable uh everybody wasn't super woke everybody wasn't offended right it was it, it was right before the blm protest started and it was right before trump right where you know basically everybody became super woke after trump that that was a a, a, a better time in life and feel like for me personally as, as a young person now i know some of you guys may want to go further back okay because you're some people probably a lot older than me but that's just me personally because jay leno has finally apologize for years of racist jokes against asian okay he is the newest victim of uh cancel culture uh when it comes to comedians guys and, and you know we're getting to a point where society has degraded down to uh the no fun society okay because the woke movement has really become the no fun movement okay everything is serious right everything is offensive right everybody got to take everything to heart right so jay leno um you know because of you know the recent increase in you know asian hate crimes and you know what happened in atlanta has felt compelled to come out and and, and apologize right so let, let's see what he has to say here former late night host jay leno issued an apology for racist jokes he made throughout his career that were aimed at asian communities the comedians racially fuel wisecracks, including suggesting Korean people consume dog and cat meat, perpetuated harmful stereotypes. The jokes were criticized for over a decade by activist group Media Action Network for Asian Americans, Variety reported. At the time I did those jokes, I genuinely thought them to be harmless, Leno said in a joint uh, press release with uh, MANA leader Guy Aiko. Uh, according to Variety, quote, I was making fun of our enemy, North Korea, and like most jokes, there was a ring of truth to them. Quote, at the time, there was a prevailing attitude that some group is always complaining about something, so I don't worry about it, he added. Whenever we received a complaint, there would be two sides to the discussion. Either, quote, we need to deal with this or screw them if they can't take a joke. Too many times I sided with the latter, even when my heart knew it was wrong. The announcement of the apology comes amid a cultural reckoning uh, spurred by the mass shootings at Atlanta area spas last week that killed eight people, six of them Asian women. In the past year, hate crimes against Asians rose uh, 150% in the nation's uh, largest cities, according to uh, California's uh, State University analysis of police records that was released earlier this month. Leno made an offensive joke about Asians as recently as 2019 when he served as a guest judge on NBC's America's Got Talent. Although the line was cut uh, from the show's broadcast, it was included in a report by Variety about actor Gabrielle Union's concerns with the toxic uh, workplace environment at uh, America's Got Talent while she served as a judge on season 14 of the show. According to Union, Leno made an offensive quip while looking at a portrait of America's Got Talent judge and a co-creator, Simon Cowell, with his dogs, noting that the canines looked like food items at a Korean restaurant. The Hollywood Reporter also confirmed that the incident occurred. Leno said that his apology was genuine. Quote, I am issuing this apology, he said. I did not consider this particular case to be an example of cancel culture, but a legitimate wrong that was done on my part. Mana has been very gracious in accepting my apology. I hope that the Asian community will be able to accept it as well. And I hope I had lived up to their expectations in the future. All right, guys. So here's the thing. Um, yeah, Jay Leno's apologizing. I don't really need to go into much more detail about this. And again, guys, like I said, this has become the no fun society. Okay, because first of all, if you really felt bad about it, why is it that you're waiting until incidents like this happen to apologize if you really felt that bad about it? You're only apologizing because you feel like you're in a situation where 
you may have contributed to what is happening, which he didn't, right? I don't think Asian jokes have contributed to what is happening right now. But that's the only reason I can think in my mind why you're apologizing, right? And my thing is this. If you have to apologize, then you're suggesting that maybe we shouldn't have Asian jokes anymore, right? And if we can't have Asian jokes, we can't have black jokes. We can't have white jokes. We can't have Indian jokes. We can't have Arab jokes. We can't have African jokes. We, we just can't have jokes about anybody's race anymore. And 90% of comedy, right, is people making fun of each other. And one of the easiest ways and funniest ways to make fun of each other is race, right? And guys, I mean, I literally after reading this story, I literally went and watched the YouTube video of people making Asian jokes, okay? I watched the video of people making black jokes, of white jokes. All these jokes play off of stereotypes, right? And they're done in the arena of comedy. They're meant to be funny. They're meant to make us feel uncomfortable about each other. That, that's the whole point. The whole point is to make us laugh and to look at each other and, you know, laugh at our stereotypes. Okay? This is not politics. Comedy is supposed to be outside of the realm of politics. Right? Now, they can be political jokes. I, I get it. Right? But, like I said, it's comedy. And if we can't even laugh at each other as a society, how is that making it better? How is it making it better? Right? This is the same argument I made with the Steven Crowder thing, guys. Steven Crowder said something that a lot of black people might be offended by. I wasn't. I don't care. Right? Because at the end of the day, it's a joke. It's a joke. Right? It's a joke. And at the end of the day, I can take a joke. I'm pretty sure most Asians can take a joke. Asians understand their stereotypes. I'm not Asian, so I can't really speak for them, speak for them. But it's almost like none of these people have went to middle school. <laughs> Right. If any of us remember middle school, you know, <laughs> middle school was crazy in terms of what kids say to each other. It's way worse than this type of stuff. OK. And the softening of our society, man, again, it's just making it so it's just not fun. Right. We can't even make fun of each other without somebody boohoo crying, getting upset. Right. Just because something is happening right now. Right. Where there's a very small group of individuals that are committing crimes that should be locked up, right? That should be punished for. That doesn't that's not an indictment on society as a whole. That's not an indictment on comedy. Comedy is not the cause of that. Very few people hate Asians because some comedian made a joke about Asians. That's not what's happening. That's not what's happening. What's happening is, like I said, you have a very small group of people who are committing these crimes who need to be punished. Okay? That's what we have to deal with. We can't just ex extrapolate every single event that happens to mean the worst possible thing. That we can't even make jokes about each other anymore. And I get the whole, oh, some stereotypes are harmful. Again, I, I do agree with that. But there's a difference between comedy and using stereotypes in political arenas, right? For example, the stereotype that people are trying to use now is that... White people are mass shooters or mass murderers, right? That's what they're trying to do. That stereotype is actually harmful because it's not used in a comedic context. It's not meant to be funny. It, it is meant to actually be used to push a political point. They're 100% they're serious about that. When comedians make jokes, right? It's not meant to be serious. It's meant to make fun of some of the stereotypes of certain groups of people, right? It's meant to, for people to laugh at. And for the most part, they're funny. And the reason why it's funny because everybody knows in the back of their mind that there's an element of truth to it, right? Everybody knows that. Just like as a black person, like they say, oh, black people can't swim, right? That's funny to me because even as a black person, I know a lot of black people when it comes to getting in the ocean, when it comes to getting to deep pools, black people are like, nah, that's not us. We let other people do that. We, we don't get involved in things that are extra dangerous, right? That, that, that's what black people say. Or at least black people I've been around. Yeah, I, I can't speak for all black people, but I'm just saying. It's funny. It's, a, it's some element of truth to it. Or that, you know, white people don't season their chicken. 
<laughs> but they can bake though. White people can bake their ass off, right? These are funny stereotypes, okay? That that's the difference. Now again, like I said, in the political arena, if you're making a joke or if you if you're stereotyping black people as all thugs, right? Yeah, that that probably is harmful, right? That that probably is very harmful in the political arena. But if Dave Chappelle or Cat Williams <laughs> makes a joke about black people in a comedic context, that's comedy. They're not trying to push a political point. They're not trying to push a political agenda. They're not trying to legitimately harm people. And if you weren't trying to legitimately be harmful to Asians or to push hate on Asians, why are you apologizing? Because, I mean, honestly, a majority of Asian stereotypes are positive. A majority of them are positive. At least they got that, right? But again, like I said, guys, this this is the no fun society. No fun society. We, we can't joke with each other. We can't laugh with each other. We can't do the things that actually brings us together. And then we're wondering why we're getting more divisive. Comedy is supposed to bring people together. We've now canceled comedy. I'm glad Bill Burr hasn't went for this. But I, I just think a lot more comedians, because of the society we live in, uh, uh, they just, they're not going to be, they're not going to be the same. Comedy is going to become, I don't know, like, it's going to become neutered, right? We're going to neuter comedy, right? And comedy is not an arena that I won't neuter. And this is my biggest problem with the woke movement. Yes, there are some aspects of society that, you know, need to change and need to be approved upon. This is not one of them. Comedy is not one of them. Comedy needs to stay the same because comedy is traditionally what brings people together. In my opinion, there's nothing more beautiful than a group of people coming together and can laugh at each other's stereotypes and make fun of each other and have fun. What's what's better than that? What's more American than that? Nothing. So, you know, again, I think it's sad to see uh, Jay Leno apologize for, for these jokes. Um, you know, I, I don't think that his jokes have contributed to anything harmful. And uh, I think he's just doing it to appease the, the woke movement. And, you know, if he really felt bad about it, then he probably should have made those jokes in the first place. And he should apologize a lot sooner before it became politically expedient to do so. So let me know what you guys think about this. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.